Chelsea Football Club trophies, club tradition, net worth, and more. Hello viewers. Welcome to the sports exclusive YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about Chelsea Football Club trophies, club tradition, net worth, and more. Chelsea has been a fairly constant club for the bulk of their history, and people nowadays mainly associate them with the football powerhouse they were at the turn of the century, not surprising, given that the club won the majority of their trophies during that time period. Chelsea has won the Premier League, FA Cup, and League Cup. They've also had European success, being the only British team to win all three major UEFA trophies, the Cup Winners' Cup, the Champions League, and the Europa League. If you are new to the sports exclusive YouTube channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell to receive regular updates. For more sports news and updates, please visit www.sportsexclusive.co.uk. Chelsea FC has been a very constant club for the duration of their history. Most people now associate them with the football powerhouse they became at the turn of the century, hardly surprising, given that the club won the majority of their trophies during that time period. Chelsea has won the Premier League, FA Cup, and League Cup. They've also had European success, being the only British team to win all three major UEFA trophies, the Cup Winners' Cup, the Champions League, and the Europa League. Gus Mears, an English businessman who had previously purchased the Stamford Bridge Athletic Stadium with the intention of converting it into a football facility, formed Chelsea in 1905. His initial plan was to rent it to an existing team, but after a contract with Fulham FC fell through, he got the notion to form his own. Chelsea immediately became popular among local fans and established itself as the largest club in the capital. In the late 1910s, the club became the first in Britain to have an average attendance of more than 40,000 people. The team's moniker, the Pensioners, grew to become one of the richest clubs in the country, allowing them to pay well-known players. Chelsea also became the home of the Football League's first non-British player, the Danish Nils Middelbo, who joined the club in 1913. Nonetheless, the club's first five decades were not very fruitful. The team would be switching back and forth between Divisions 1 and 2. However, in their second decade of existence, they made it to the FA Cup final for the first time. First League Title Everyone was taken aback when they won their first league title in 1955, especially given that the club had previously finished in the bottom half of the league for most of the previous seasons. This surprise victory, however, was insufficient to turn their fortunes around, and the team quickly reverted to mediocrity. Chelsea was at the pinnacle of their fame in the mid-1960s, with several big-name celebrities becoming regulars at Stamford Bridge. For the first time in their history, the team was considered a legitimate contender. After winning their first League Cup in 1965, they added two more firsts by winning the FA Cup in 1970 and the Cup Winners' Cup in 1971. Debts and new ownership As it turned out, those were their final triumphs for a while, with significant financial issues related to the renovation of Stamford Bridge and rising hooliganism among the club's fans, Chelsea quickly found themselves in a precarious position. Chelsea's on-field results were not a focus over the next few decades, as the club's officials were urgently trying to avoid bankruptcy. The Mears family's control ended in 1982 when the club was sold for the symbolic figure of £1 to new owner Ken Bates. Chelsea's return to the spotlight The club did not return to prominence until 1996, when Rude Gullett was appointed as player-manager. Chelsea was once again one of the most exciting clubs in English football, with the famed Dutchman at the helm and a strike force led by Italian internationals Gianluca Violi and Gianfranco Zola. While the team did not win the Premier League during this time, they did have some cup success, with two FA Cup victories in 1997 and 2000, as well as a League Cup triumph in 1998. In addition, they won their second Cup Winners' Cup in 1998, defeating Stuttgart 1-0 in the final. Chelsea was a team dominated by foreign players at the time. On Boxing Day 1999, Chelsea faced Southampton with the first all-overseas 11, ushering in a new era in British league football.
Ed de Goey, Holland, Albert Furrer, Spain, Frank LaBeouf, France, Emerson Tomey, Brazil, Dan Petrescu, Romania, Celestine Barbararo, Nigeria, Gus Poyet, Uruguay, Didier Deschon, France, Roberto Di Matteo, Italy, Gabriel Ambrosetti, Italy, and Tor Andre Flo, I, Norway. Russian billionaire becomes the club's new owner. Chelsea's landscape was irrevocably altered in 2003 when the club was sold to Russian billionaire Roman Abramovich. The new owner rapidly brought Chelsea back into financial stability, paying off the majority of the club's debts and spending an unprecedented amount of money on star signings. However, it wasn't until Jose Mourinho arrived that everything fell into place. Under the controversial Portuguese manager, Chelsea won back to back Premier League titles in 2005 and 2006, as well as two League Cups in 2005 and 2007, as well as an FA Cup in 2007. Even after Mourinho departed the club following a series of conflicts with Abramovich, Chelsea remained a dominant force in English football, winning one more league title, two FA Cups, a Champions League, and a Europa League in the next six years. Chelsea have never won the European Cup, the Champions League, or the UEFA Cup Europe League before. Shortly after Mourinho's return in 2013, the club won their fifth league title and another league cup. Chelsea fired Jose Mourinho in 2015 after a long period of poor performance. Chelsea FC Timeline and Reign 1905, the club was established. 1905, the first game on Stamford Bridge is played in September. 1907, the club is promoted to first division for the first time. 1913, the first non-British player is transferred, Nils Middlebow from Denmark. 1928, Chelsea become the first team to wear numbered shirts. 1935, a new record at Stamford Bridge is set with an 82,905 attendance against Arsenal. 1955, winning first division for the first time. 1965, first League Cup title. 1970, winning their first FA Cup title. 1971, first European Cup winners' cup title. 1982, the British businessman Ken Bates buys the club for £1, sick. 1999, first Champions League participation. 2003, the Russian businessman Roman Abramovich become the new club owner. 2010, winning their first First Division and FA Cup double. 2012, first Champions League title. 2013, first UEFA Europa League title. All Chelsea trophies. League title, 6, 1955, 2005, 2006, 2010, 2015, 2017. UEFA Champions League, 2, 2012, 2021. UEFA Europa League, 2, 2013, 2019. UEFA Cup Winners Cup, 2, 1971, 1998. FA Cup, 8. 1970, 1997, 2000, 2007, 2009, 2010, 2012, 2018. League Cup, 5, 1965, 1998, 2005, 2007, 2015. UEFA Super Cup, 2, 1998, 2021. Community Charity Shield, 4, 1955, 2000, 2005, 2009. Full Members' Cup, 2, 1986, 1990. Chelsea's Net Worth According to 2021 Forbes ranking, Chelsea is the 7th th richest football club in the world. The football club is valued at $3.2 billion. Based on the 2021 valuation, Chelsea Football Club earned $520 million in 2021 alone with $35 million operating income and zero debt. Thanks for watching this video. We are open to suggestions. Kindly drop your comments in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe to the sports exclusive YouTube channel. See you in the next video.